everybody to another segment of 120 seconds as always i'm stockwell this time around i am reviewing the group project bars b-a-r-s which is v sinister tier diaz zitro and clifton durrell formerly kill cat for any old school juggalos who may remember him each guy has a super top echelon of psychopathic records story and i'm just going to put a link to each guy below because it would take way too long for me to go into everybody's thing this EP, because it's just four tracks, is everybody flexing their own individual skills. So each guy uh, has a hook, and then everybody spits a verse. The unfortunate thing here is that knowing who these four guys are, and I do know these four guys, most of them pretty well, this could be amazing. And unfortunately, it's just not amazing. All right? There's, in my opinion, two reasons for it. Number one, as I was just talk talking about, it sounds like each guy created a track by their own by themselves and then sent it to the other three so that they could just cut verses. So number one, the vibe is kind of off sometimes between members. Number two, and this one really surprises me, the vocal quality is like this on it. So somebody's vocals are louder than others and somebody's are muffled or it sounds like it was recorded in four different studios. And, and that's just unfortunate again, as I said. So it, it is, it is a, it's a surprise to me. It's a drawback for me, um, you know, I'm expecting amazing coming from you for, and uh, it, it's just not amazing. So I will say that uh, Zitro and Clifton Durrell are, are the highlights for me as far as lyrically. This is the best Zitro that I think I've ever heard. You take in the thing he just did with class called Carnivores. His arrow is pointing up, in my opinion. Zitro is sounding the best he ever has on these last two uh, releases that he's put out with, with the group. The Sinister goes offbeat a few times because he's trying to get real wordy. Um, he, he's better than that. He's better than that. He just says, you are the, uh, Tier the Tier does kill it on, uh, on site. And then his hook in his verse on top no more, which is for sure the best track. Uh, he, he kills it, but his other features, they sound a little bit quieter than usual. So he, he kind of tones down his delivery and his flow for this project for whatever reason. And as I was talking about those vocal in inconsistencies, he sounds a little bit low and it doesn't sound in my opinion, as good as he normally does. Again, he, he, you know, he's better than that. So I'm just going to challenge my friends here, okay? Because I've known two of you for more than 20 years, the other two more recently, but I feel like I know you guys pretty well. And uh, I'm just going to speak to my friends directly here. Do this again. Stick with this project. Do a full length. Get everybody together if possible. That way everybody's on the same vibe, on the same page. You're creating songs together instead of just dispersing things around. And then everybody will have the same quality in their vocal tone and recording and all that stuff. Again, that part really surprises me given who, who, who these four are. This project, this group could be amazing. I, and look, if they do it again, it will be. It will be amazing. Maybe this is a little dip their toes in EP to see if they wanted to keep going. I hope they do. Because again, given who these four guys are, could be amazing. It's just not quite there yet, in my opinion. As always, you can check it out. Click the links below. Tell me what you think. Until next time, thanks, everybody. They go love us for life. Yeah, I don't go there. Right. I don't fuck with them anymore. I used to like them, but uh, I don't fuck with them. I